I need your help. We're looking for volunteers. I have a physics experiment I'd like to try on you. Oh, it worked! It squished him! Watch out! Timber! Holy cow! Oh, look at that one. That one's going down too. That's how we do it! We Vikings. Alright, Survivors Polly Jr. here and welcome to Valheim. Out on Steam Early Access today. I will put a link down below in the description so you can check it out for yourself if you like what you see here. There is no price point on the store page at the time of this recording. Uh, I'm recording it a little bit ahead of time before launch as I have been given a code by the developer um, to play the game and share with you here. So let's jump in and get started and we'll talk about it and show it and all that fun stuff. Show don't tell, right? That's what they say. All right, let's create a new character. I did jump in and test the game out. I have played this before, maybe a year or two ago when it was back on uh, itch.io. Um, and it's very fun. I really like it. It's a survivally uh, sandbox type game on a randomly procedurally generated map. Obviously you play a Viking warrior. You have been slain actually, and you have been brought back to uh, life and dropped off here at Valheim to uh, to fight Odin's enemies or some such. All right, there we go. Looking good. Let's give us a name. This is going to be Hellgraf. That's my name I use for all my Norse type warriors in my Dungeons and Dragons and uh, and video games. So there we go. Looking fine. Let's do it. Oh, right. Got some clothes on. That's good. And we have to create a. a um, a world too so this is actually not uh just solo play you can also play co-op i think up to 10 people you can create your own character or you can join a uh, uh, create your own server rather <laughs> sorry it's early in the morning <laughs> uh you can create your own can i shut that off what what do i have well, how do i disable that there we go you can create your own server and people can join you um or you can join other servers out there oh yeah right here so this is join and you can create your own community server or your own private server. All right. Well, let's make a new one. That's my old one. At least the, my test world. We're gonna we'll call this one Hellgraph. And here's the seed. Let's let's change the seed. Let's call. Let's use Hellgraph seed as well. Yeah. Perfect. All right. I think we're ready now. Let's start. All right. Here we go. One way trip to Valheim. So the backstory is this. Odin has discovered that Valheim is being overrun by its en his enemies, so he has uh, sent the Valkyries to find warriors on battlefields to send them to Valheim to uh, to, re to restore order and peace and prosperity. <laughs> and that's us. Apparently we died on a battlefield somewhere. A glorious and honorable death, I am sure. <laughs> no doubt, but um, we died nonetheless, so we have a, a chance to... Um, Get back into the fray, as it were. Ow. Hey, dude, really? Do you have to hit every single... Ow. Tree. Thanks. So I think that's a Valkyrie. Looks more like a big bird, but... I could be wrong. I thought Valkyries were, were women. But my Norse is a little bit rusty. Hey! Hey, hey, hey! Come on over here now. So we got hugging the raven. It's gonna give us some advice here in Valheim. Welcome to the Tenth World, Warrior. I am Huggin, sent here to guide you in your travels. The megaliths surrounding you are the sacrificial stones. They represent the Forsaken, which you must slay in order to ascend to Valhalla. Okay, great. Thanks. Appreciate it. So, yeah, we, ultimately, we want to get to Valhalla. I don't think we ever quite made it. This stone is a vague vizier. These magical stones were scattered throughout the lands by Odin as signposts pointing toward the ritual grounds of the Forsaken. If inspected closer, this one will, will reveal the summoning place of Eketia, your first prey. He is a mighty beast, so you need to properly arm yourself before even attempting to defeat him. All right, well, thanks. See you later. Just down here. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we have a map. That's where we are right here, these standing stones. And there's the Eketir, and I'm butchering these names and words, I am sure. Again, I'm a little rusty with my Norse mythology and my Norse language. <laughs> but I do know how to play a sandbox survival game, so let's get started. Let's pick up all the stuff. We got rocks. We're getting new recipes here as well. And our first task will be to make some tools, obviously. Um, I think we're going to want to make... An axe. In fact, Huggins gonna come back here and give us some advice. Oh, we got raspberries. Nice. 
Love me some fresh raspberries. And oh, there's Huggin, speaking of. Told you. Hi. Welcome back. A tasty morsel. You have found a snack. Consume it to improve your health and stamina. Be aware that before long you will grow hungry. I know how it works. Not my first rodeo. Huggin. There he goes. I just saw something moving around over here. What is that? Little frog people. Um, we got some mushrooms here. That's nice. In fact, why don't we go ahead and eat right now? Uh, let's eat that right there. Take stock of your inventory. Most items must be crafted. However, due to your recent departure from Midgard, you will have to recall the true shape of objects. Just pick things up and it will all come back to you, I am sure. My lesser brother, Munin, tells me one can fashion a stone axe out of wood and stone. All right, cool. We can do that. Uh, we don't have enough wood or stone yet because this is the recipe right here. We're a little bit short. We can also make a club as a weapon and a hammer for building our first longhouse here in Valheim. It's going to be glorious. I can't wait. All right, let's go toward the coastline because I want to live near the water. Oh, skill improve. Run one. Yeah, we do have skills here, by the way. Let's see if I can find them. That's the compendium. Here's our skills. Run, unarmed clubs, blocking, and axes. And we have trophies. Of course, we don't have any yet, but we shall collect many. And there is the PvP if you are playing with other people. All right, let's grab all the stuff here. Get a point right at them. Raspberries. Better than nothing, but hopefully we can get some meats at some point. A Viking needs meat. Need that protein. What is this little thing? Dandelion. All right, let's go find some more wood. Can we just punch these little trees? Oh, yeah, we're doing a little bit of damage. Unarmed skills going up. Very nice. And we have another attack, too, a kick attack. We do have a stamina bar down there. You can see all well, this is costing stamina. Oh, we got it. We got it. We got three wood. Excellent. Not the stone axe. We need one more rock. This is flint. That'll come in handy later. So, I, like I said, I have played this before. I played it last night. For about an hour just to get my feet wet and uh we oh, this oh we don't want that we need a stone right and i played this about a year ago or whatever whatever was out maybe maybe even two years it's been so long back when it was on uh, itch itch.io many many moons ago here we go a couple of rocks and now we're gonna get our first proper tool we use this to chop down the trees and get more wood quicker some more rocks too eventually we'll get a pickaxe is my guess but let's chop down a tree over here let's find a nice place to live Ooh, here's a bunch of rocks too man you can run right past them they're kind of hidden in this grass there's a branch um yeah i think right here might be a nice place right on the water you can go fishing hey guys i'm moving in you gotta go whoa okay fine easy does it <laughs> I am going to see if we can kill him with our axe though. Oh wow. Stunned him. Killed him. Axe is improved. We got new material. We got a necktail. Inedible raw, but we can cook it up. I mean, it's not quite bacon or venison, but it's going to have to do. Um, where's a good place to live? Seems like a nice spot right here, right? Relatively flat. Pretty sure we can flatten the land anyway if we um, if we need to, we can build a hoe. We got resin, so we can make a torch. Very nice. All right, let's clear the land right here. We build up a little house. Before nightfall, hopefully, because I think it gets pretty scary at night. There's temperature. To well, wow, what is this thing? Hey, you snuck up. I don't have any. Ugh. I guess you can't kick when you have a weapon in your hand. I'm trying to kick him, but it's not working. It's all right. We'll just chop him with the axe. Ha! Can drop anything? Doesn't look like it. Can I eat again? How about a mushroom? Bounty of the forest. Ooh. You chop this log in the water? Oh yeah, look at that. Gaining axe skill. That's nice. Alright, look at the little frogman over there watching. <laughs> they're kind of cute. It's too bad they're so aggressive. Maybe I can tame one. Yeah, this looks like a nice place for a home. Can I chop this bush out of the way here? Did we get anything from it? No. And how about this mighty tree? It's a beech tree. I think we can take this down. One of the trees we cannot chop, I think, is a birch tree until we get maybe a flint axe or something. 
this one we can chop it down. There it goes, timber. Watch the physics in this game. It's actually really, really cool. It will, you, will, you will get crushed if you get under that thing and it's moving <laughs> like this. You don't want to do that. All right, let's chop it up. Ooh, I see a uh, grayling coming. Coming to investigate all the noise down here by the beach. Oh, I think he spotted us. Now he's running away. Maybe going to get some friends. Oh, watch out, watch out, watch out. Whew. Close one. All right, grab that wood. Fantastic. Okay, let's check the wood scenario. 48 out of 50 and six stones. I don't think we need any stones for building a wooden home. Hi. Whoa. Jeez, I think there's a dodge. How do you make dodge? Okay, block. You can block. We're going to have to work on our block. Go ahead, swing. Hit me. <laughs> Blocked it. I love it. Try again. D hey. I'm done with you, dude. Try again. Come on. I'm working on my block. Thank you. Okay, you can go now. Go. Thanks for volunteering. All right. Let's, um... We need a hammer. That's the first thing we need to build. That does require stones, but I don't think the house material does. Oh, here we go. We're getting some new recipes. And, and Huggins back. Workbench, yes. Now we're talking. And let's make a club, because I think that's the actual first weapon. I mean, you can use the, um... You can use the axe and a pinch as a weapon, but I think the club is better. All right, let's go have a chat with Huggin here. What's up, bird? You have crafted a hammer. With this tool, you will raise mighty halls and towering fortifications. Start by building a workbench. This, in turn, will enable you to construct other things. Yes, I know. Thank you. Right, let's go do it. So, workbench first. And the way this works is... You right-click. Bring up your little build menu. And here's the workbench. And you want to have it close to where you're going to be building because you don't actually use the workbench right away. <laughs> You only build around it. So let's put it right here. We can always uh, pick it up later and move it. But here come all the new recipes. Check it out. All the building pieces for a house. Wood walls, half walls, doors, roofs, ladders. It's fantastic. All right, what's up, Huggin? You have built a workbench. The workbench allows you to craft complex items as well as giving you access to lots of more building pieces to construct with the hammer. This is correct. Now, we cannot use this until we get it inside um, under a roof. So, we need to get working on that. ASAP. All right. Let's start building. So, I had some trouble building um, in my test game because I couldn't find flat land. So, I decided to build up on top of these little pillars, which is a good idea. So the little ones are one wood a piece, and we can we can actually get rid of this grass later, even though it's gonna cut it's gonna um, clip through the floor. But let, let's just raise it up higher. I know this these are a little more costly, but it'll be worth it in the long run, I think. A couple of those out. Now we can probably place the floors on top of these. I hope. Yeah, the building is super free form, which is in some ways a good thing, in others, uh, not so good. So we're just going to slap this thing together and see what happens. Here we go. That's okay. Now, do you want to go closer to the water? I want kind of have one, a little waterfront property there. So these are pretty cheap to, to build. Let me just slap them in. I don't think we need to put pillars underneath the whole thing. I don't know if there's physics as far as the building goes. I don't know if it's just going to crumble down on top of us if it's not supported, but I guess we'll find out. All right, I think that's good enough for our first haul. Let me see. Let's get a gauge for it. Yeah, that might do. Because we just don't have that much wood. Oh, we're down. We're, 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 we're out of wood. <laughs> so let's, uh, let's go chop down another tree. Timber! And I think we're going to need more stones. What was it for an axe again? Uh, oh, no, we have enough. Okay. Oh, look who it is. It's another grayling. Let's try our club. Boom. Nice combo. Seems like I'm getting hungry. Maybe we should eat. Let's have a raspberry and a mushroom. You do have to have like a balanced diet. So I could not eat two raspberries right there. 
but I can have a raspberry and a mushroom. Alright, beautiful. Look at all that lovely wood. Ooh, there's a whole trunk right there waiting for us. So we're going to have to obviously build a stair up here. Not sure where the floor or the door is going to go. Maybe on this side. Let's um, Let's build another floor out this way. And then we can put stairs up on either side, I think. Whoop, what happened there? So some particles. Rocky particles. All right, let's get the walls up. So let's just do regular old wooden walls in the back. We don't have many options right now. I don't see any, like, windows or anything. I think we have to put the windows in ourselves with maybe half walls. But I have noticed that if you use half walls, the cold air comes in the half walls and you can't get warm right? and the whole idea is to build a structure and have it qualify as a indoor structure but i do like the half walls in front so i can look out at our beach and watch the little froggy men frolicking in our pond my pond <laughs> uh all right let's put some solid walls in the back here And we can put a doorway over here on this side. Where's my doorway at? Right there. Beautiful. Okay, let's give it a test. All right, it opens. Yay! Just like that. All right, let's do something with this part for getting in and out. Wooden stair. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to try something different. So if you point... What is that? Like an earthquake, or is that me? I guess I got stuck. All right, let's remove this, and we can do that with the middle mouse. That might that might be better. Yeah, I might put a deck up here eventually in the front, but I think that's gonna work for now. All right, we need uh, we need a roof. We need to go a little higher first, I think. Let's see how much wood we have left here. Only three wood. Gotta go chopping down more trees. Let's take a couple of trees from this side. Oh, I need a new axe too. Hey, guys, come here. I need your help. We're looking for volunteers. I have a physics experiment I'd like to try on you. Oh, it worked. It squished him. Wow. <laughs> That's fantastic. I told you there's physics in the game. I love it. All right. Anyway, science experiment has ended. Thanks for, your, uh, for volunteering. I really appreciate it. Okay. Now, that's plenty of wood for the night, I think. What do we have? 30? Well... Probably not to finish the uh, the house, but it'll be a good start. Now I'm gonna run over here to the um, to the hillside because we need rocks. We need rocks to make a campfire because it's gonna get dark and it's gonna get cold. And we can find rocks up on the hills, in my experience, at least more often than you can on the coastline. Oh 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 oh! We got bacon. Get over here, bacon! Bacon on legs. Dang it! Yeah, we want to kill a boar to get. It's leather scraps. Oh, he's coming back. You want some? I missed. Because leather scraps is going to open up a whole new bunch of recipes. And I'm not going to chase him down. Oh, look at all this. Look at all these rocks. Told ya. All right, that's four. We need, I think, five for a campfire. Oh, here he is. He's trying to sneak up on me. Nice. We got him. What did we get? There we go. Leather scraps. A bow. We get a shield, I think. Yeah, shield. I can't read and fight at the same time. Where are you? Yeah, a whole bunch of new recipes, which we will take a look at eventually, but the priority for the time being is to find some more rocks and then get indoors. Oh, hi, Huggin. Fancy meeting you up here. Be wary of the weather. When the temperature drops at night, or if you are wet, you will suffer from being cold. This reduces your stamina regeneration. Seeking shelter by an open flame is your best option when this happens. Yes. Yes, good tip. Thank you very much. But we just need a couple more stones. All right, well, let's head back. We'll probably find at least one on the way home. Somewhere in this grass. But yeah, typically you'll find them, find big batches of them up on the hills. Stuff does respawn, by the way. So all these rocks and branches that you find lying all over the ground do de de respawn. It's another piggy wiggy. Could use some bacon. Yeah! All right, give us your stuffs. What, no meat? That's a crying shame. Uh, okay, let's head home. Got a little radar up there. 
Easy peasy. Ow! I just stubbed my toe on that boulder. <laughs> Did you see that? We don't have any shoes yet. We're going to be able to make some clothes eventually, though. All right, right past the old standing stones. And there's home sweet home, such as it is. There's another little stone right here. Oh, what's this? Railing. Hate it. My beach. Saw it first. I love that stun. Oh, still alive? There we go. Uh, okay, let's get the fire going, because we are cold. You can see up in the top right-hand corner, it says cold. What? Come on, man. I just want to get in the house and go to bed. All right, let's use our hammer and put the fire out. You can't put it indoors. For some reason, I've tried this before, and you see how you can't place it on wood. Oh, dang it. Really, bro? You hit and run? You coward. All right, let's try that again. So we're going to put it right out here in front. You want it relatively close to the structure so you get the benefit of the warmth. Right there looks good. And let's throw one more bit of wood on there. It lasts a long time. You don't have to put more than two. Now, hopefully that smoke doesn't come up into the house and, and fill it up with smoke. Because we can die of smoke inhalation in this game. Or at least you do take a lot of damage from it. Speaking of damage, let's eat up and get some of that health back. And now, let us uh, let's work on the shelter. So you can see the campfire up in the top right hand corner. That means we are benefiting from that warmth. Now let's see if we can get um, a torch or two out here. Let's put maybe a torch here and a torch here. All right, that'll light it up a little bit. Nice. All right, starting to feel like a real home. So we can make a bed. Actually, we can make a bed and sleep through the night. Maybe we don't have to deal with this nighttime nonsense. Let's do that. Yeah. Okay. Oh, look who it is. Hey! That's my bed. <laughs> a headrest for the weary. Sleep the night away in your bed and awaken feeling refreshed and full of energy. Another improvement to your home should be some chests where you can store items. It is good practice to always have some spare equipment. If something unfortunate should happen to you while exploring. Unfortunate, yes. Now, I can't eat another raspberry. It says I'm hungry. Oh, let's cook up a necktail before we hop into bed. Let's cook up a neck tail. We can use this thing right here. Yes, a cooking station. Put that right on top of the fire. And then we can place the items on there. We're going to eat frog legs. Mm -mm -mm. Tastes like chicken from what I understand. <laughs> I don't think they agree. Just wait for that to cook. It shouldn't take very long. Oh, 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 they're done. Plop, plop. Plop them off. Grilled necktail. 35 health, 20 stanima. Oh, wow, look at that. Look at our health shot up a lot. Yes, you definitely want a balanced diet. You want vegetables. You want your proteins. <laughs> we just need to figure out how to bake some bread or make porridge or something for our grains. Um, all right, let's claim the bed. Bed needs a roof. Oh, no. Okay, so you can't sleep in a bed until you have a roof. Well, well, well. All right, then. Let's make a roof. Let's go back to the building. And it's just going to be a little place. We don't really have the time or the resources right now to make a big giant hall. So we're just going to make a little a little house. This won't be the, the big Viking hall we're going to make eventually. But I think for this episode and um, for demonstration purposes, we're just going to make a little house. Just a teeny little thing. All right, that looks good. And how about a roof? 26 degrees. Sounds about right. I'm going to spin you around. And can we place you up there like that? Yeah, I don't want to screw it up. Let's put this part in first. Spin these around. Yeah, the, the building is super free form. Again, that has um, pros and cons to it. I have a feeling this is going to fall down. <laughs> I really do. I, I know there's physics in the game. We have seen that. So I think what we might need to do is put up some beams and some posts. Let's do that right now. Maybe this little guy right here. One there. Don't need one in the back. 
yeah. Oh, dang it, we're out. Out of wood. So we're not going to finish our house tonight. Oh, wait, it's under a roof. Sleep. Oh, we can. Okay, fine. <laughs> I guess that qualifies as a roof. We're... You dream of a river running uphill, of green shoots turning downward into the earth. You feel rested. Comfort four. Oh, we're indoors. Look at that up at the top right. Rested 11 minutes of rested benefit, maybe? Comfort is four. That seems pretty good. And we're in a shelter. Little Viking there, sitting in a lean-to. <laughs> and we have the comfort and the benefit of the fire. All right. And music is kicking in. Things are looking up. Let's kill a seagull. Oh, there he goes. Dang it. All right. Yeah, this is great. So I think I'm going to go chop down some more wood here. I'm kind of afraid to take this tree down. It might crush the house. Oh, here's one. I forgot about this one over here. Now let's go take this down. This will give us a nice bit of wood. And then we'll try to finish up this roof. And then we'll call it quits. And if you guys want to see more, leave a like in the video. Let me know down in the comments below as well. Get some feedback. It's very much appreciated. I intend to play quite a bit of this game. I really enjoy it a lot. Excuse me. I think we can get rid of the stumps, can't we? Let's see. Get that torch out. Still can't see. It's early in the morning, but it's super dark. Oh! Yeah. Okay. Oh, there it goes. Okay. <laughs> I was going to say I dug it up, and then I just left it there. I do love the physics. All right. Grab it all. Grab the flint. We're going to be able to make new flint tools very, very soon. We should be doing some jumping, too, because jumping... Skill improves if you do that. And let's have a look at the workbench. Uh, we still can't look at all the new recipes yet because we got to bring that indoors, which we will do here momentarily. Let's drop the torch, get the hammer out, and let us finish up our roof. So we want the thatched roof up here. Can we get it in there? There we go. There we go. Beautiful. Snap it too. All the way to the end. I, oh, oh, oh. I think that red, maybe that means it's going to fall if it's not supported. I don't know. It looks fine. And we need some more roof here. I do like that the building's pretty easy. It's also relatively inexpensive compared to some other games. That the, uh, the cost of building and the time that it takes to build is just kind of ridiculous. You build up a nice little house here. Little Viking long house on the beach. In a matter of minutes. Uh, yeah, these stilts. Okay. <laughs> I think we need to do something with that. Let's go and get more wood. And then we'll fix that up. Oh, here's another log I knocked down. I forgot to watch out. Timber. Holy cow. Oh, look at that one. That one's going down too. <laughs> Woohoo. That's how we do it. We Vikings. <laughs> Let's fix this up right here because this is going to drive me crazy and probably a whole bunch of other people too. Let's put that there. And can we raise that up higher? Yes. And then this we can just remove. Boom. Hopefully nothing falls down. <laughs> Seems good. Don't worry, folks. I'm a professional. One there. And how about a little mini one here? And this one needs a, just a little bit of a readjustment. Oh, gosh. Okay, it's still there. Probably should have put this one up first. Yeah, it's coming along. It's really coming along. It's looking fantastic, if you ask me. That there, and the bigger one there. All right, what we need to do now is just finish up the cross pieces here. 26 degrees, spin it around. I should slap right in. Oh yeah, now it's all Viking-y-ish, right? So cool. Bam! And we have little windows, too. But what do you think? I mean, it's it's not huge or anything, but it's home. We've got a bed. We've got some lighting in here. We even have a little window. We can look outside, sort of. Might make a walking deck out there, too. But, yeah, it's it's pretty fantastic. I, I like it. I like it a lot. Now, I'm probably going to put something up above here, though. Yeah, I'll do some fine-tuning later. I just wanted to... Get that finished in this episode. We have done that. Oh, yeah, there we go. Some frog leg. Tastes like chicken and a raspberry. The things are looking mighty good for Hellgraf here. Huh? 
all right i think we're gonna call it quits right here for now folks so hope you enjoyed this episode and we shall continue um tomorrow maybe oh wait hold on let's pick this up i think i can by just destroying it no okay no you can't <laughs> i thought destroying it would pick it up but it did not however i think we got all the materials back did we not i hope so and we'll just stick that in the corner over here we can do some crafting indoors and now now look at all the stuff we can make look at this a hoe we can use that to till the earth and flatten it and raise it so forth flint torch tunics bow wooden shield oh yes and a spear flint spear that's going to be a nice weapon you can upgrade this thing too very cool all right yeah i'm gonna like i said i'm gonna do a little off-camera work mostly just gathering materials and then we'll be ready for our next adventure so once again this is valheim link down below check it out for yourself and we'll see you next time have a nice day.